Today we're in Elspeth's local food market and the community has joined to showcase their fresh produce. From homemade jams to freshly sliced ham, this fantastic turnout proves that authenticity is still in high demand. Elsford's Farmer's Market is a brand new event to be held on the third Sunday of every month. We visited Ellie's Cupcakery to find out what challenges she had in store for us. So I challenge you two to decorate these cupcakes with our two helpers here. Okay. There's your one. Thank you. Thank you. I will be with Alexander and his team. Yep, and I'm with Sebastian. One of those. We're going to win. I think Farmer's Markets are really important because they show people out there that there are more to like the food produce than what you can get in the supermarket. What would you say is the importance of local events like this? It brings the community together, it allows people to um, start up small businesses and just get themselves out in the world. Squirt it well. Okay. Ah, it's my hands now. And what do you think the importance is of the local community and events such as this? It's using Ken Produce for the local uh, community and them instead of spending in the supermarket, they spend into the com community. So, you know, the money is not going into supermarket pockets so much, it's going into traders' pockets. I'm done. So what are your top tips for icing cakes? Um, make sure that icing's cold enough. If it's a really hot day, it tends to just melt. Um, also practice first. If you're going to be making sculptures out of fondant icing, practice before you stick them on the cake. And once it's on there, you're not going to get it off. How long did it take you to get to the level that you were at now? Because I imagine you didn't just wake up and think, cakes and... Yeah, I've always baked as a hobby, like when I was younger I started baking with my nan, so I've always done it, but I basically self-taught myself for cake decorating, and then last year I put myself through a City and Guilds qualification for sugar craft as well. How much fun is it to work alongside your wife at such a fantastic... Um, be honest. It can be fun. Yeah. It can be a bit stressful, you know, obviously it depends on how well you're doing as well. If you're doing well, then it's easier than if you're sort of standing around and nothing's happening and it's quiet and you're not, not selling. So it's, it, yeah, it, it's good fun. And Apart from getting up in the morning. Early yeah. Morning. And last but not least, what is your bestseller? <laughs> the Austrian hazelnut cake. The thing about sourdough as well is that it's not. Um, the dough takes a long time as well, so everything is, is really, really made by hand and everything's very organic, if that's the right word. Sourdough is, really, is a really nice, healthy option. It also has a great history. Also, it tastes better and it's not no additives, there's no, no nothing. So generally, a lot more, it's becoming a lot more fashionable as well. And what designs do you have on offer? Um, I pretty much do anything that people want, so I bake everything to order. So for farmers markets I keep it quite simple, but I have done cakes with cars on, flowery cakes, princess cakes. Voila! We finished. But we won! I I do think the boys did a better job than you two. That's yeah. very true. Very true. So I think the winner is... Lydia's team. Yay! that I won, but also that taking part in local events really brings the community together. It does indeed, and you didn't win, I won. But if you're doing similar activities in your community and you would like to be part of our campaign, simply tweet out from your account, hashtag something brilliant, and join us.